And check out the size of this rosy we just caught. <laughs> He's a monster. That's what they normally look like. Yep. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. We're going to show you today how we are learning to deep drop. Uh, we've been out a few times now and haven't caught anything, but this morning we caught our first rosy, so I figured it'll show you guys how we did it and maybe we'll get lucky and do it again. So right now I've got Kristen driving the boat. We're actually facing south uh, against the Gulf Stream, against the current. Current's moving about three and a half, four miles an hour uh, that direction, uh, north. So we've actually got the bow of the boat facing right into um, the upcoming current. And we're actually going against it in gear. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this out and then when it gets close to the depth, right now we're at about 750 feet. When it gets about that much line let out, I'm gonna let her go ahead and back off and we'll just kind of back up and let the line straighten up. And then I'll drop it again if I'm not right on bottom. And that should line us up directly on top of it. Uh, we did that the first time and again, pulled it up and we had a little black belly rosy. So uh, pretty good success on that try. So we're gonna try this again. So uh, we're gonna show you guys how we did. So how fast are we going now, babe? 1.8. So we're going 1.8 southbound against the current. And how deep? 755? 758. All right, 758 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this out. And then maybe turn them a little bit the other direction and pop it in reverse again. And you said we're at 755? 757. 757. Okay, put it neutral. All right, so we're on bottom now. That's good. All right, that's enough. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Turn your engines the other way a little bit. All right, so we're on bottom. Cool, all right. I forgot to mention that we're also using a five pound weight and we're using a yeah, multi-drop rig really with, I think, six yeah. hooks on it. And the size hook, uh, hooks is a size 80 hook. Uh, we'll see. Another one. Yeah. All right. Oh, and he's a lively one. He is a lively one. Oh, come here, little buddy. You got some cool little spikes there. I don't want no part of those. Nope, I don't want any part of them. Now oh, you even got some little sharp gills around your mouth there, man. Uh, sorry, I bet you're fun are, at parties. Those are All right, another one. Another nice little one there. So it's our third one of the day. So basically what we're doing is we're going up current until we get out enough line to hit bottom. Then we back up on it so it's kind of straight up and down. We did add a little weight to the top there so we could get the whole thing down and so they're not just hitting that bottom hook. So this is our third little rosy of the day. I think this one's also a black belly as well. He is. He just doesn't want to open his mouth. But cool. The currents were pretty strong on our first trip deep dropping so we decided to try again a few weeks later and had much better success up until I hooked myself. Hey, check out the size of this rosy we just caught. <laughs> He's a monster. That's what they normally look like. Yep. <laughs> He's just fatty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Black belly. Whoop. Got the black belly going on there. Black belly. All right, so we decided to come do a little deep dropping because the current's only about two and a half, two and a half miles an hour, so two knots. So yeah, so that's a nice one. That might be the biggest rosy we've ever caught. Yeah. And that one's going to be uh, bait. Bait. I gotta, He's just uh, fatty. Yeah, yeah. Black belly. Whoop. Got the black belly going on there. Black belly. All right, so we decided to come do a little deep dropping because the current's only about two and a half, two and a half miles an hour, so two knots. So yeah, so that's a nice one. That might be the biggest rosy we've ever caught. Yeah. And that one's gonna be uh, bait. Bait. But I gotta... All right, I see something. I see some color down there. I see stuff too. I see something. There's fishies on there. Yeah, there is. Do I need the gap? No. So, just grab the, the weight side of it. 
Another big ass Rosie. Oh, it's two. Nice. Mm. Stop your flopping. I'm going to put them both in there. Well, I was trying to get them out of the way from. Another nice little rosy there. I'm grabbing with the towel because I just don't feel like grabbing anything else. <laughs> well, they're also spiky and they have uh, their teeth, their little teeth. They have like these little baby teeth on them. So where's the behavior? Do you have any more of that, or is that it? Um, I have that piece out, but we don't. Can you see it? Could you be right over that boat right there. Hey, can you guys see that water spout? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Right over that boat. Yeah. Can you look behind that boat? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right over that boat. And if you look behind the boat, you see the water. And at the same time, we're about 284 feet now. <laughs> Been coming up for an hour. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one there. I'll move this out of the way. You can see it. Yeah, you can see it coming up off the water. You see it praying up off the water yep. there? Damn, that is a nice one. Oh, this is uh, struggling a little bit here. 170 feet. All right, how's our line doing? We're good. That is a nice one. Yeah, it is. That one's pretty cool. Now it's like probably right above your head or uh, Yep. That's the third one today or fourth one? Yeah, third one because the other two were skinny ones, but they were separate. But yeah, that one is definitely uh you can the water. Ha! Huh? On the boat out there to the right of it. <laughs> well, uh my I guess like through it, see what it's like. <laughs> Uh -oh. We got some more fishies. More fishies? It looks like fishies. We do have more fishies. Another nice rosy. Oh, you got it? Yep. Okay. Okay. okay, so I think we're racking up on the rosies today. It's a rosy kind of day, man. Not my dog's, my mom's dog, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the big one. Okay, big one. Well, there you go. Got him? Yeah, well, no, we probably definitely need this one. Yes. There's another Rosie for today. Not the biggest one, but still very nice. And I'll, again, the black belly Rosie. As you can see <laughs> black in there. Belly. You can see, can you see, can you see? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I don't want his little teethers to get me. Let's see, there's another one. So we got, uh... I think we're limited out on Rosie. <laughs> now we can use the babies for bait. Group bait. Group bait. Mm -hmm. group bait. You know what? Bait. These things do pretty good even after coming up from that depth. Yeah, that is true. They right. do. Others do not. Arr. It's still going. That's a good size water spout. All right, so we want to try to hit some groupers this time. I mean, I'm not complaining about the rosies by any means. But yeah, a grouper would be nice. So if you guys want to know what we're using for bait, we're actually using some rosies that we caught last time and uh, we didn't get a chance to eat them. So we brought them out because we had heard that they make good uh, baits for grouper. grouper and for whatever those other tile fish are called. Fish. Yeah, tile fish. But Blue tile's out of season right now, so we can only keep golden tile. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're using rosies and we're dropping in seven, 800 feet of water. And I don't really see any reason for us to go off course. We're catching stuff. We're catching stuff, we're not requiring too much effort. We got water spout show. Yeah, we got water spouts. Where did it go? It went away. It's right there. You can see oh, the end of it, but it's 
gone away now. Ow, 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 shit. Oh, okay. shit. I need you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, shit. Uh, okay. Um, uh, don't rip it out. Can you pull? Uh, uh, grab the, the, I need something that can cut this. Can you pull the, the food, the stuff out and get the barb? Mm. Push the food out of the way, get to the barb. I don't know what you want me to do. I need you to take that barb and crush it. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, let me do it again. Here, let me do it again. Shit. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. All right, all right. Can you take some scissors or something? Cut this food away, please. So after a while, we finally found something that would cut the hook out of my hand. It ended up being some crimping set that I had for my trolling rigs. Thank God I had that on board or we would have had to go to the emergency room. But once we cooked the hook and got it out of my hand, it just put a Band-Aid on it and uh, decided to head in for the day. Thank you for watching this episode of Amphitious. Please subscribe.